Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Miriam, and for today's video, I'm bringing you guys a quick little get ready with me. Um, and while you get ready with me, I'm gonna give you guys a little life update because so much has happened in my life. Like, sorry, excuse me, for the past month, and I'm kind of stoked to tell you guys all about it. Sorry, excuse me, because I feel like I'm not really like personal in here. Like, you guys don't know much about me, so I was like. Might as well film a video, sit down, and talk to you guys about new things. Um, some little tea, spilling some tea, giving you guys a little insight of my life. So yeah, anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get right out to this video. So I don't really know where to start, but I guess I'll start with, like, with the little small little details of my life. So basically, I have a Jeep. It's a 2002 Liberty. Um, you know, not like whatever, but I'm super happy with it. Um, I want to get it wrapped and I wanted to get it like the windows tinted um, but it broke down a week ago or two um, something was wrong with the motor I don't know mechanic talks it was like what is it a knock I don't know what the hell that is and in Spanish it was like a piston I don't know I don't know what that is I just give it to my Nino and I was like fix it <laughs> and so he's been fixing it for me um, so yeah, but it's taken him some time because obviously my Nino has time and even though I'm his number one priority because I'm his favorite niece, um, unfortunately I have to wait. I'm trying to go out more and start like, my summer and like, you know, bring you guys along, daily vlogs. It's kind of my plan turned to shit because I don't have a car um, and I was filming actually uh, my hot girl summer glow up where I was going to go um, get my eyelashes done and everything. But my whole life took a turn for the worst and i had no car no transportation um so isn't that great and yeah so basically um um yeah i have no car so great and i'm still getting it fixed i'll probably be done by today or maybe by like the weekend or something yeah so that's the thing with my jeep isn't that great isn't that amazing so yeah so don't have to look no transportation usually the ones who are taking me to work is my beautiful boyfriend or my mom and sometimes um yeah and that's it and then um yeah that's right now and then speaking about jobs but it's getting fixed and stuff like that so we have a solution to that problem and then my job i work at a farmer's market bullshit ass job i literally hate them i work five days a week five hours and i do what my manager and what the assistant manager do in eight hours or you know like i'm not trying to be cocky and i don't care if none of my coworkers are watching this i'm the one who does most of the fucking work at that job um literally i do so much for that stupid ass job because you know i care about like others like i care about my manager like um i don't want to be a bitch and leave all the way to her like the other hooligans that they do half-ass jobs so i like working hard and you know and um i think that's just the thing like i don't care if i'm getting paid like whatever i'm getting paid i can't i don't like talking about that but um i like to just help others and if i like and i like it's my first job so i'm not trying to like outdo myself either but i am trying to help like i know if i got it in me then i can help and that's what i've been trying to do for that job but they're so ungrateful so fucking ungrateful so um, if i basically need more hours because them little ass checks are not cutting it and it's like come on out like i'm the one who does most of the work and you won't even give me more days like more hours a day like how am i just working fucking five or five hours and three five hours and 30 minutes like that's a waste of fucking time and they still expect me to do so much on those five, five hours and i'm like excuse me and i barely noticed it like recently because like i i'm like such a good person like i'm literally not gonna lie i have such a good heart and basically my manager is really cool i i'm really close with her but if she really wanted to give me more hours, she would have, like, she would have, like, done, like, not the impossible, but she would have told her manager, like, oh, like, she's the one who, like, helps me out the most, like, you know, but she doesn't, and then a few days ago on Tuesday, it was my day off, 
and her day off too. And she called me in on that day for four hours because she just wanted to see if the PCR was coming. And obviously she didn't want to waste her time and go. But like, she told me to go. Like, girl, what makes you think I want to waste my time too? Like, it's my day off. And then I was just like, mm, whatever. So I went and I did my four hours. And I was like pretty upset about it because it's like, that's really fucked up. Um, I also have another job opportunity. Um, you know, they pay me more than this job pays me a few more cents more and they're more accessible you know and i was thinking of like do dodging that job but then um this is the thing so basically um this whole job they there's also a lot of farmers market ar around my area that are from like this farmers market and there's one here like near me and then there's one kind of near me but more farther it's like 30 minutes farther and i'm gonna go work there and help them and get better pay better hours and i'm so excited actually because if i save up enough i can move out there because it's pretty cheap out there and i can drive to the school and it's not like such a like a big i mean it is a big step and i know like it's gonna take so much time but like i know i can do the impossible like i know i can do anything that i put my mind to so yeah and anyways so um because it has sick days they don't let us use our sick day sick days when we put our two weeks in so i'm using them before um you know just to get like that time off and like you know get that money for it so yeah i have basically 15 hours of sick days 15 hours yeah and so i called out today tomorrow and sunday and i said that i was sick because of the shot but bitch i'm not i'm not sick Y'all don't see what's coming. And then on Monday, when I go back to work, I left my two weeks in. La, la, la. Because they're so fucked up to me. So fucked up. Like, the management is fucking horrible. I hate those people. Just by the way they treat me. And I just know that they don't give a fuck about their workers. The managers there are a bunch of fucking assholes. Um, the one manager was like, oh, well, I have five people that want the job. Find them, bitch. Call them in see if they do what i do see what that i do and then the bitches there that work in my department i work at the bigger department they're always talking shit always i don't know why this bitch is like 50 years old talking about me talking about my mom i'm not for sure bitch let's get one thing straight i can talk about my mom you cannot no like don't bitch you like 50 and then she thinks she's the shit because she smokes blah 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 like bitch your lungs are dying on you relax bitch you're gonna die too soon take a break take a fucking chill pill bitch because at least my lungs work bitch <sighs> had to take a deep breath i'm sorry and yeah so then i was like whatever and then the assistant manager is a fucking hypocrite ass big ass forehead ass bitch i swear to god that bitch is uh uh i don't care like i i don't care like i'm not trying to be disrespectful to her she you know whatever but she is such a bitch she went and snitched to the store manager and said that i didn't touch the load on that tuesday that i worked four hours i'm like bitch first of all this isn't my day off and first of all you're the assistant manager you're supposed to fucking do it not me bitch like how did i start as a packager and then moved to packaging doing the fucking freezer doing the load and doing sales for like come on bitch no and then yeah and then she snitched and then she says that i put out too much product outside like bitch i know what i'm doing don't fucking come at me like don't don't bitch i'll fucking ugh. and then yeah but i don't i don't i don't really say anything like i'm so respectful like i know how to have manners and then they were saying that i cuss too much like bitch i don't even talk in the first place here i don't even talk everybody literally says that i do not talk so bitch how does that make sense how does that make sense Fuck that job and then the fucking deli department the manager that old ass bitch too she's always harassing me literally always harassing me for what i wear and what i do this and that and she never tells the other girls like we're supposed to have hats i always have my hat on except i lost it <laughs> like a day ago but still i'm gonna find that bitch and then that big ford headed ass assistant manager that bitch never has a hat which is probably understandable because that hat probably does not fit her big ass head and that deli manager never tells her shit. And then my other manager, I mean, my not my, my other coworker, she's cool, blah, 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 you know, whatever. But she doesn't follow, like, the PCR rules, whatever, blah, blah, blah. She never has a hand sanitizer bucket, and they expect me to pull it, bring it out for them. And she doesn't tell them, to, she doesn't tell them shit about that. But 
once it's like me getting a hand sanitizer bucket that bitch just wants to harass me but she does not go and harass the other girls like to follow the rules and then she says something about my earrings blah 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 i took them bitches off then my other co-worker my friend she also has a lot of earrings not a word is said to her like and i'm not like you know i'm not trying to compare situations but how are you gonna go ahead and give me shit and harass me constantly making my fucking life hell but you won't say that to other other two people like why is that why that's why i'm putting my two weeks in fuck that job i really hope i don't give a fuck i really hope that department goes to shit i swear to god i just hope I really hope, like, you guys don't understand how much I hope that that department goes to fucking shit. I went to a soccer game, and I seen my ex. Bitch, when I tell you, I was so mad inside. I was so mad inside. And there's this thing where I put a TikTok, and that, you know, hurt their little feelings. So, they was mad. And, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah. So, basically, I seen him, and I haven't seen him in, like, a year or whatever, and I really don't care what the fuck he has going on. I cannot express this enough. Like, my ex-best friend can literally vouch for me. She can vouch for me. I don't give a fuck about him. <laughs> the only reason, like, the only thing I care about is that I never got to say what I had to say. The fact that this dude goes around and acts like he's an angel like he didn't do nothing wrong and you know it's those hypocrite ass motherfuckers and that's what i hate that i have so much left and said like that's what i hate you know anyways and then back to the topic of me because i mentioned my ex-best friend i don't got no best friend anymore <laughs> that's another topic for another day because we didn't end on good terms neither did we end on bad terms but it's just a person that i do not want to associate myself with anymore and a person that i'd rather keep at a distance my boyfriend is now currently my best friend my boyfriend and my brother i love him i love both of them to the max and i always like sit down and talk to them about like things that have happened to me or like things that that were exchanged between people that are currently not in my life and i just realized how shitty people treated me and how bad like they took advantage of me and so yeah so that's how i like know like that they like that's how i know that's how i know that she wasn't actually a good friend that i was just probably just thought that she was the world because i've been friends with her for a long time but there was also so much past built in into that relationship like you know that friendship that just it was really toxic really fucking toxic you know anyways yeah anyways next do you guys seen that i finally posted my boyfriend yeah. uh, uh. anyways i love my baby i love him so much and basically yeah i did post him and i i got a lot of them follows again but i don't really care and recently my instagram has really went down on numbers which again i don't care i have mentioned this like i don't care if i lose it all tomorrow and it's not because i'm ungrateful or anything but it's because numbers are numbers and the people that are gonna support you are gonna always be there so that's why i'm kind of like you know it's okay and then also i've been really insecure for like the past two three months on my instagram feed because when I see the numbers go up, I just feel like everybody's judging me. And so I decided today to make my account, my main account, like a photo dump. Like just post random ass photos there, which I've always wanted to do. So I'm going to do that now, which I'm glad because I feel like I don't have to make it seem professional, you know. But yeah. Um. So yeah. Yeah, that's it, guys. That's all I have to say. Uh, I, think I, I think I touched on a lot of subjects that are happening. Even though it might not seem like a lot to y'all, it's like a lot of change, a lot of like events, a lot of crazy events. But anyways, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video.